Hello and welcome to this short video on how to upgrade the firmware on your Checkpoint Spark Gateway. You can see I've logged in to my 1590 appliance and straight away I can see here there's a notification for a new firmware that has been made available to me. So there's a couple of ways we can actually upgrade this. This is a locally managed device. We can navigate directly to the correct location by clicking upgrade available down here. This is going to take us directly to the system operations menu. As you can see, it's brought us under here. Now, what we can do is we can go ahead and click upgrade now to pull down the firmware from the checkpoint website. So it'll go away and start pulling down the firmware. You also have the option of clicking manual upgrade, coming into the upgrade wizard and we click next over here. We can then go ahead and select our software that we want to actually upload. So we could come here and select an image, click open, then click upload, and we can then click next and let it upload the software. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually just click upgrade now and make it really easy. Um, I haven't downloaded the, the latest version, so I'm just gonna click upgrade now and let it do its job. So it's going to go away and check for new firmware. It's found the firmware that it's wanting, which is the latest one that we saw on the home page. And we'll let it go away, download the new firmware, and we'll come back in a couple of minutes. So you can see the firmware has been uh, downloaded. It literally took two minutes, and now it's actually starting to install the firmware on the appliance as well. So we'll let it go ahead and install the firmware. Okay, so it's finished installing the firmware version, it then rebooted and gave me the login prompt. I've just logged back in and we can see here that we are running the R80.20.35, uh, this specific build version over here as well. So you can see that was really quick and easy in terms of being able to upgrade the Checkpoint Spark Gateway. Please note this was done in my lab environment, so I don't have a huge sort of network sat behind my Spark Gateway, so it's gonna be a little bit quicker than what you may expect inside your production environment, but it is still quick and easy to actually upgrade the firmware. Hopefully you found that useful. Do leave your comments and feedback and let us know what else you'd like to see in the upcoming videos on the Quantum Spark gateways.